So the time has come at last. After 25 years, Ash Ketchum is being retired from the Pokemon anime. Let's be honest, this was a long time coming. For the past few generations of the Pokemon anime, the creators have been looking for ways to shake up the anime. Because the anime has been staying basically the same for as long as it's been going, and it's been a bit stale because of that. But a change like this, replacing the main protagonist of 25 years, could be the change up they've needed for a very long time. As long as these new protagonists aren't being written badly or anything. Now, personally, I think this could be a great change. In fact, I feel like this change could have happened even earlier than this point. I believe that there are three pivotal points over the course of the anime where they could have replaced Ash before now. These three points are the majority of what this video is going to be about. The first is between the Johto and Hoenn regions. This was a turning point for the Pokemon franchise as a whole. It was a point where the games were changing over from the Game Boy and Game Boy Color era to the Game Boy Advance. The animators for the anime had switched to a new higher quality animation style. There was a complete rewrite in the coding for the games regarding various aspects, including personality values, natures, and the addition of special abilities for Pokémon. And the biggest change of all is the fact that the Hoenn region is nowhere remotely near Kanto and Johto, the set pieces for the first two generations. Now at this point in the anime, Ash was pretty well experienced. He had conquered two regions worth of gyms, and a set of island challenges in the Orange Islands. He had delivered the GS Ball to Kurt, the Pokeball expert of Johto, and Ash, Brock, and Misty split up at the end of the Johto saga. There were no real big hanging threads, except for what the frick was the point of the GS Ball if it was just gonna sit on a shelf and never get talked about again. Would it make sense to replace Ash as well? Well, let's talk a bit about Ash's role in the first few seasons a bit first. Now, the Indigo League serves as a good season to introduce new viewers to the series, as they get to experience exactly what Ash is experiencing through the lens of a fresh new trainer. The Orange Islands are a fun diversion, and Ash is still learning about his Pokémon. Not a lot to say here because the Orange Islands were a filler season to buy time to finish up Gold and Silver, and it was a shorter season anyways. Now, as for Johto, Ash is a fairly experienced trainer at this point. He's still learning about new Pokémon, but he knows a lot more than he did at the start of his Pokémon journey in Kanto. Exploring a new region through the lens of a fairly experienced trainer is a nice change-up from the previous seasons, but it can only work for so long before the novelty runs out. So this paired up with the other reasons stated before, with all of the major changes the series was going through, could have been the perfect opportunity to bring in a whole new cast for the brand new Hoenn region. And they did end up bringing in Mei and her kid brother, but Ash did end up being the main protagonist again. Which is probably obvious considering that's the entire point of this video. And then Brock came back, again, for some reason, and ended up sticking around for two whole regions worth of the anime. Not that Brock isn't great, he's actually awesome, but change can be good every once in a while, you know? Okay, so that wasn't the pivotal point for change that it could have been. But what about the next one? Well, let me tell you. The change between Hoenn and the Kanto retread for the Battle Frontier wasn't really that much. In fact, I often forget that there even was a Kanto retread because of how seamless the change was. And that was a weird case in itself because that season was promotion for Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald, blending the ideas of both of those games. As for the Sinnoh region, Ash did end up switching his entire team save for Pikachu and Apon, but honestly not a lot of other changes were made to the formula of this series, and yet again, Brock returned. Ash battles through the Pokemon League, and Team Rocket follows to try and capture Pikachu. Big whoop. Now the real change comes from after Sinnoh. Generation 5 made a lot of changes. So much so that a lot of people feel that this was a soft reboot for the entire franchise. Black and White 1 had no returning Pokémon during the main campaign. The animation once again got improvements from the last series, and this was the first region to not be based on a region in Japan, instead being based on New York? America? Certainly this time could be the time to trade Ash for a new protagonist since they're changing a lot of things already. No? Not at all? Okay, fine then. At least we're getting a break from Brock, 
Dang it, this is just Brock 2.0 now. Well, I guess technically 3.0 since Tracy and the Orange Islands was a thing. And Team Rocket is back again, still trying to get Pikachu. Well, I guess it is neat that they got some cool new jet black outfits and seem to be more competent in this region, but still. Okay, so Unova wasn't the time to replace Ash. At this point, I wasn't even sure that they would, because they missed two golden opportunities to do so if they were ever going to. Now, say goodbye to Unova and bonjour to the French-based region of Kalos. Now, I will say that the Kalos era of the Pokémon anime is probably some of the best that the more recent regions has to offer in both story and characters. I honestly don't know if removing Ash between Unova and Kalos would have made it even better or worse, but I certainly wouldn't want to risk it, because I actually had a pretty good time watching through these seasons. Ash had a solid team, all of the cast had a lot of really good growth, and Ash and Serena had a cute moment at the end of their journey together. If they had Ash win the tournament at the end, I feel like this could have been yet another perfect time to end following Ash on his Pokémon journey. Maybe even better than the other potential pivotal points that I mentioned earlier. Now, after this point in the series, they start to get a little more experimental, so it feels like even the writers are starting to notice that something had to change in the series. In the Sun and Moon arcs, they changed up the art style again, and Alola has a different format to the series, more so feeling like a slice-of-life comedy anime instead of an action-adventure like in previous seasons. Rather than adventuring around the region, the show takes place inside the classroom for the majority of the time, only leaving to go on field trips and when the students have to leave to quell Ultra Beats in the later arcs. It's pretty clear here that something wasn't working for the writers anymore. Something needed to change. And something did change at the end of the Sun and Moon Saga. Ash finally won the Pokémon League Tournament. In all honesty, having Ash be the main protagonist isn't super important to Alola's seasons, and having Ash being confined to a classroom setting is kind of weird considering how long he's been traveling around. Despite that, it's integral to have Ash around for the next arc, so changing who the protagonist is after Alola would have been a mistake in my opinion. After Ash's fun in the sun in Alola, then there came another change in the series. Ash is no longer sticking to remaining in one region for the entire season, instead traveling all over the world through all of the different regions he's been in, as well as Galar. I'll be honest, I haven't watched past the Alola region yet, but I've read enough synopsis to gather the general context needed for the purpose of this video. This arc of the anime is pretty experimental in terms of Pokémon, changing up which region they're in every few episodes, Ash having a traveling companion trying to catch all of the Pokémon, including Mew, and this series brings back a lot of the older traveling companions besides just Brock again. And Ash actually beats a Pokémon League champion. It's almost as if this series in particular is a celebration of all of the past seasons of the anime, and seems like a farewell. I mean, it kind of is, considering this is where Ash's journey comes to an end in this series. But it actually feels final and absolute, which is the big thing. Now, could they have made the switch at those points that I mentioned earlier? Perhaps. And maybe they could have been just as good, or maybe even better points to ditch Ash. But there's no denying that the way they chose to do it has definitely made an impact on how this series has turned out and Ash Ketchum will always be someone that is important to many, many fans of the series.